Mystery Peeps. I felt like I really needed to come back and see y'all tonight because um, those of you that are not absolutely um, transfixed and joined to watching the live feed from the Weight Loss Surgery Meet and Greet in Vegas, which we'll get back to shortly, I wanted you to know I was okay. But first things first, it is no longer Friday the 13th in Australia, but it is Friday the 13th here. So, Kristen... Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Kristen, happy birthday to you. Now, if I had not had a tube and a scope down my throat on Monday, I think I'd sound better. <laughs> but I'm thinking about you girl, I loved your video, thanks for the shout out. I really liked the the reflective mate you did on your birthday, this year, 35th birthday. And, you know, you're such a gorgeous girl. I just love, I felt like I bonded to you immediately. And I love watching your journey. And I love that we all can speak honestly here about things like wanting to eat. I mean, my darling Michael went and got a double-double at In-N-Out today. And, oh, I'm longing for that. I, can't, I won't pretend otherwise, even though I think my surgeon who sees who wants to see only the highest side of me would really hate to hear that I'm wanting that double-double. Let's get real, okay? Anyway, I looked like something the cat had, dra had dragged in yesterday, and um, I have gotten so many messages of worry and concern, and um, it was worth worrying about. I mean, I, I was exhausted. I still am pretty exhausted. Um, I took a pain med about an hour ago, and that, that usually peps me up a bit, but I... Um, Today has been better. I managed to get in so far over a liter of fluid um, I, and 50 grams. Well, I will, but when I finish my soup, I'll have had 50 grams of protein. That's about as good as I can do today. Um, my darling husband made the most bodacious chicken stock, chicken soup, when I was in the hospital. It was, um, he took a Costco chicken and added it to some uh, chicken soup broth that we already had used to cook some chicken to feed our spoiled cats and then added carrots and onions and garlic celery celery and then uh, strained it all really well and skimmed the fat off and then froze it as ice cubes so i'll have some really delicious broth and i added uh, we added half of a packet of injury protein and it, it tastes fine i don't taste the taste in that which is a freaking miracle for me because i've been having so many trouble we had many problems with the taste of things, as you know. Uh, the the drink I adored so much, the Champion um, something Pro 100 chocolate that I thought was the best thing I ever had. I couldn't get it down yesterday, but this morning mixed with um, 8 ounces of decaf and some ice, it was, it was fine. I was able to get it down over a period of a couple hours for sure. So at least I've gotten some protein. That's given me some energy gotten more water in and I'm I've been setting my um iPhone to go off every 15 minutes and I drink these are some little cups I got in the hospital and I'll drink two of these they they're 30 mils each or an ounce each and that's what they recommended my doctor to have two two ounces every 15 minutes and just keep doing it through the day as you know I'm on clears so I don't have to worry about not drinking you know a half hour an hour after eating because there ain't no eating in my life right now okay i also wanted to say um shout out to julie i love the exchanges we have uh this is julia rh um my my idol in paraguay i mean she she's been so supportive because Considering how beautifully your journey has gone, Julia, it really shocked the heck out of me to know that you had problems too and that your first three weeks were crappy. Not that I loved knowing you experienced that, but it made me feel much better because I'm seeing the outcome you had and knowing that there's hope for me. Um, I, I think that I was kind of a dodo to not consider my fibromyalgia in all this. I mean, obviously, it was going to be a factor in my recovery and... Maybe it's better that I didn't start worrying about that. <laughs> Today was better. I hope tomorrow will be better still. I got my medications down more easily. I woke up. I didn't sleep that well last night. First night since the surgery. So beautifully in the hospital. Um, beautifully the first night home. Last night I couldn't fall asleep till 3.30 or 4. 
and then woke up at six with a real pang of what I think was acid. So I took my anti-acid that I'm to take for 90 days straight, you know, no, no matter what. I'm a little concerned because, you know, taking it at six in the morning, I'm hoping that it, it makes its way through the night and, and into the night. Um, I may have to ask him to play around with that. Um, so, yeah, for as far as I'm concerned, I've been walking a little bit, um, doing a little bit more, feeling a little bit better. I get pretty weak in the afternoon. Um, now, I wanted to also shout out to Kim, because you've been a, a Kim in... New Zealand, an Aussie from in New Zealand, in New Zealand, and tell her thank her, thank you for the love and support you've been sending my way consistently. Also, Deborah in Australia must be something about these Aussies and Kiwis that attract me because I feel particularly bonded with some of the women who live in that area of the world, and I've never been there. Oh, this might have to change. Although, Kristen um, West Oz girl, I really want you to come to the United States next year when you're at goal and ready to rock and, you know, come to the Vegas meet and greet. I think it would be great if all of us who have been sleep recently could make that a goal because Vegas is wonderful and we have always have a blast there and I'd love to see you there. Um, to be a little bit more serious, I wanted to send some remarks to, to my friend Deb. This is a different Deb than the Australian Deb. Um, she was due to have surgery on, I think it was Thursday. I'm really confused about what these days are. And she landed herself with what sounds to me like the most abusive, awful doctor I've ever heard about. I mean, there are some zingers out there. I worked in the medical field, so I'm used to that. But what happened to her is that she, he never told her that she was to lose a specific amount of weight. And because of that, I mean, she, she lost, I think it was 12 pounds. I mean, that's fine. And she has no comorbidities. Comor he had not given her amount. And she got as far as having them mess around on her for a long, long time, giving her IVs, got the heparin shot. And then he came in and actually pitched a fit and refused to do surgery on her because she had not lost enough weight told her she needed to lose six to eight more pounds and come back in 12 days. Needless to say, she does not want his hands on her. And I is reporting him as I think he should be. He was leaving the hospital anyway shortly, and I have a feeling that he's been fired. I mean, the man sounds deranged and unbalanced. And what I want you to do, Deb, because I know it's hard for you to not see this as... Um, something meant to be to, make, to mean you are not to have surgery. You were struggling with this surgery already, and I think you would really, you were ready for it. But don't be so sure that it's not the surgery for you. He was not the surgeon for you, and I'll write to you further. I'm sorry I haven't written to you. I care about you a great deal, but I get so weak that um, it's hard for me to write much or, or I would do as much as I'd like to, and as I usually am able to do. Um, Follow me. You know, you saw what a mess I was yesterday, and I think that just confirmed for you that you shouldn't have the surgery. But I'm much better today, and the thing that everyone needs to know is that no matter how crappy this has been, and it's been awful, uh, trying to get the fluids in, uh, you know, having my body reject things that it didn't reject before, I would not change a thing. There's no way I'd go back and not have this surgery. I'm onward and I like onward and downward. My weight's going to go down and I'm in control and I'm going to rock my sleeve. And Deb, don't give up, honey, because um, we're all here for you. Get in touch with Julie because I shared what had happened with her and she was horrified. We're, anybody that would know about this would be horrified. I'd love to get a gang of women and go just beat that man up. Seriously. He's a monster. I can't, he's a monster. And this should not have happened to you. I lost 15 pounds before my surgery. And my doctor told me I, after my surgery that my liver was in wonderful shape. I mean, come on now. Um, I love you. I love everyone who's been so supportive and loving towards me. I'll try and answer your messages more personally soon as I'm getting more energy. 
and I will see you again when I see you. Bye-bye.